a town with a population of 16,776 people living in a suburban area. Over the past few weeks, there have been several accounts of family pets going missing or found mutilated in backyards. Though at first thought to be the work of simple animals like raccoons or a rabbit dog, more recent sightings have proved it to be something more unnatural. Uh, could you, um, could you tell me exactly what you saw? Well, I was driving home the other night, maybe through 2.30 in the morning. As I was sitting at the stop sign, I looked straight ahead, and I could have sworn that I saw something standing between those two trees over there. So I flashed my bright lights on, and it looked at me, and then it ran away on two feet, and I watched it run back into the woods. Uh, we got someone or something crawling around out here. Did you see what it was? Was it a person or an animal? or? I can't tell. All I know is that my central light came on and I just happened to glimpse and see this thing running across the yard. Uh, a good sized man or something looks like a man. I don't know what it was, just that it ran across the yard. Okay. You've had problems in the neighborhood before? Yeah, my dog was killed here just recently. I don't know what it was. Whatever it is, it's running. I couldn't catch it if I was going to chase it. So whatever it was, it was standing up. I'm out here looking through the window now and I don't see anything. I don't want to go outside. Jesus Christ, you better... Sir? See ya. Hello? Get somebody out here. What's going on now, sir? That son of a bitch is about six foot nine, I don't know. Do you see him now, sir? Yes, I'm looking right at him. Uh-oh. Okay, hang on. He's right... Is he in your yard, sir? Yeah, God, he's big. Okay, what's he doing in your yard? He's looking at me. Oh, and the guy is on foot. This... I don't know what... It, it's, it's a big... Real big person. That's all I can say. Okay, but it is a it is a person. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it was a person. Somebody really big. But he's all in black. He's... Is he a black male or a white male? Did you actually see whether, or was he just wearing black? He's all black and he's big. He is big. My name is Renee Bandies, and yes, a large bipedal carnivorous animal could exist in North Babylon due to the invasive species that have entered into the area as people have moved into the populated areas. They've taken over the forested areas and they've moved into the lakes and they've moved into the housing areas with some of the pets that people have had and some of the other organisms that have entered into the area. So a carnivorous air animal could actually exist in the area. Um. How long do you think uh, it would take for this new species to overall affect the um, environment? Well, depending on how large the creature is, once it started eating all the smaller animals in the area, it would eventually have to move to larger animals to fulfill its need for hunger and eventually could take over large amounts of area until it ran out of food. And um, once it ran out of food, you think it would spread in all directions if it had a mating partner and started making more of this animal? Yes, it could definitely spread into other areas. It would definitely spread throughout North Babylon and to surrounding towns. Um, uh, is, that, uh, is that all we need? For it. We don't know what is behind these recent disturbances, but over the next week we will attempt to draw it out and be the first to catch a glimpse of what has become known as the Babylon Beast. We should go at night because there's only like a uh, guest recording. Oh, all right. Okay, so my name is Dean. Um, I'm definitely a believer in this Babylon beast. What it is exactly, I'm not too sure of, but uh, you know, I definitely like to figure it out. It's not the first time incidents like this have been reported. There were the Bray Road sightings in Wisconsin, as well as the attacks up in Canada a few years back. So I mean. It's not the first time that something like this happened, but uh, it'll be interesting what we find out. Right. And uh, I'm David, and I totally do not think this is anything but like, I don't know, just a normal animal. Like, it could be like a dog, or... It always has to be one skeptic. I don't know, something. <laughs> hey, I'm not a complete skeptic, all right? Look, I'm totally, if we find proof, totally ready for it. But, you know, until then, I'm going to go with what I can see, you know what I'm saying?
Yeah, we got the extra charger in the back. Yeah, we're good. Hey, I'm Jim, and as you can see, I'm the cameraman, and I think it'll be awesome to catch whatever this thing is on camera, because this is wild. It's the first thing, whatever this thing is, is new. It's crazy. Okay. Like, <laughs> if we actually run into it, we're like, like, dude, I couldn't even imagine. It's fine. Just bring your... Bring a knife or something, dude. It's not gonna do much. Well, no. If, if <laughs> animals usually, dude, animals will usually run off if they see anything. That's kind of human contact, so yeah. I think we'll be good. Kind of hoping you're right about the whole big dog theory, because <laughs> I'm not looking forward to running into anything else. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um. Hopefully, this will be a good spot. We've had a lot of documented sightings recently. And uh, we're really hopeful that we catch some serious, awesome footage. But not likely because this project sucks. Where is this at anyway? No, dude. Never freaking forget it. Yo, man, slow down for a minute. Yo. Did you I'm see that? This. Did you see that? What? Holy shit. What? Like, holy shit, did you see that? Dude, what oh, the oh hell? Oh my god! Dude, what the hell? Oh. Where'd it go? Dude, go, 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 go! Get back in the car, you can't. Come on. Did you freaking see that thing? Holy oh shit, that thing must have been fucking God. like six feet tall, man. If it, it freaking stood up, it stood the frick. Oh my. Well, I guess we know it's bipedal. Yeah, Holy right. shit. Yo, my heart is freaking racing right now. Oh my God. Why the hell did we get out of the car? <laughs> Adrenaline, man. <laughs> Like, we have nothing to defend ourselves with. So then we just take the cage and just put it in the middle and set the camera up right there. You can't be serious. We're not doing this. I, look, I don't like it either, but it's the best shot we have of drawing this thing out. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really comfortable with it, Jim, but it's our only option that we, like, have left. It's not at all. It's your call. Dude, like, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Like, if we hear anything, like, whatever, we'll run out there, scare it off, or whatever. Fine. Let's do it. Do you still think this is a good idea? No, I don't think it's a good idea at all. Are we gonna do it anyway? <laughs> yeah. Alright, set the okay. cage up. Lock him all up. Alright, is it getting locked? Alright, just set the camera up. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're good. Alright. Yeah, we're alright? Yeah. Can you see him and everything? Yeah, yeah. Alright. See you in a little bit, buddy.
Where's the dog? Dude, what the hell? Dude, where's the camera? Crap, it's trashed. Hell. Dude, that's freaking blood. Man, I can't, I can't even see the camera. Can't even see anything, dude. Oh my it's god, dude. It's freaking dark out here. They've screwed up my camera, what the hell? This is why I don't like to bring my camera. Jimmy! Shoot. Jimmy, look out! No! No! Ah! Jim! Jimmy! Jimmy, get up! Jimmy! Ah! No! Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god, come on! Go! Get inside! Oh my god! Oh my god! Come on! We gotta get down! Go! Oh my god! I can't see a thing! Dude! Dude! I'm gonna call! Hold on, man! You'll be alright! Come on! Hello? Hi! Uh, I'm at I'm at 149 Parkdale! There's something Something attacked my friends! Um one of them's dead! I think, I don't know, but one of them's down here, quick! You have to send everybody! Alright! Uh, Dean!